I'm going to be talking about my four-week independent project. Um, my project, I wanted to learn the basics of Illustrator, and this included tracing, shape creating, and logo design. For my sources, I used YouTube and Adobe Forms, and I wanted to do this because I was always kind of curious why or how people made t-shirts and the logos on them. For my project plan, week one, I was going to do tracing. Week two, I did um, creating shapes. Week three, I designed logos. And week four, I created an avatar of myself. Again, my resources were YouTube videos, and they came specifically from these YouTube channels that had different project ideas. If you go look on YouTube, you can find different Illustrator and Photoshop channels, and they'll give you all kinds of projects you can do. Um, for Adobe, I used Adobe Forms for when I had problems, and I also used Google. Week one, I did tracing. Um, this wasn't the, this was my worst week probably. It was pretty simple. I traced um, this Harry Potter image, and you can see when you look closely that it's actually shapes. It's no longer a real picture of him. And then I changed his eyes to green, and this one, I just made like a psychedelic New York picture, I guess, after tracing it. And here's an example of me tracing. I'm going to skip towards the end. See, once you get close, after you trace it, you click expand, and then it breaks it up into little shapes. And then from here, you can select what color you want them to be. So for this one, I just changed the color from brown to blue. Um, week two, I did shape creation. I made a yin yang symbol, a Celtic cross, and a Batman logo. For these two, I used the pen tool and the shape builder, which is like you can create a circle or a rectangle, whatever you want. And then for the Celtic cross, I used um, shape combiner tool or shape creator tool to combine them to make a kind of optical illusion look, I guess. Um, here's a video of me creating a yin yang. As you can see, that's the pen tool right there where my cursor is. And you use the pen tool by clicking two points, and then if you hold option, you can curve it. I messed up there. So that's how you curve it like that. And if you hold shift, it will make it go out evenly, I guess is how you could say it. Um, after doing this, I use the um, ellipse tool. And holding shift and option, you can make a perfect circle from a certain point. So that's what I did. And obviously it covered it because it was white, so I had to make the shape see-through. And I did this by clicking up here and going to see-through, the see-through color. And then I created more circles. And then lastly, I used a live paint bucket, and I selected those two parts to make it black, so it was a yin-yang. Um, week three... I did logo design. I created a Fatty's logo for our football team. And I made a pizza shop sign. I looked up a name on the internet and I thought we need pizza was kind of funny. And then I made a um, logo for our fantasy football league. And this is a screen capture of me creating a sandwich. So I use the pen tool to create kind of a, I'm trying to make it look cartoony, obviously, so it's not perfect, but I curved it using the pen tool, the rectangle, and then I copied it and reflected it over the X axis, and then inside of that I put, kind of, it's kind of hard to make a turkey color, so 
because I was trying to make a sandwich. And then I added cheese. And I had to send it backwards so it would be behind the bread. And then I added lettuce. And then later I select, I highlight over all of it, and then you can move it all the shapes at once. For my week four, I did an avatar of myself. And that's kind of, that's the end product, I guess. And how I did this was I uploaded an image of myself to a Illustrator artboard. And then I traced over myself using a pen tool. And this is a random picture I found on the internet. And I decided to trace over him for an example. As you can see, I'm using the option to kind of curve the jawbone, or the side of the face, I guess. And I continue to just go around. And here, let me rewind a little bit. If you go to color guide, and then you select down here, you can choose like different um, types of colors, I guess. And I chose skin tones. And they have all the different skin tones you can imagine. And I chose one that matched best. And then I traced his face from there. And then afterwards, I traced this hair. And that's exactly how I did this. I started from the neck. And I had to make it a little bit of a different color so it would stay away from the face, like stand out. And then I traced my face. The ears and then I added hair and I did this by making a little Nike swoosh kind of looking thing and then copying it and placing it all over because my hair isn't it's like kind of come to the side and then I made eyebrows eyes and then I made the nose a little bit different so it stick out and added those lines to like let you know it's a nose and then I made the ears Overview of my project, the pen tool was very useful, and that's pretty much what I used to create all these, all of my projects, except for the first week. And then obviously tracing, that was extremely easy, and I did not need a week to do that. I could have done it in probably two days. Logo design took a lot longer than I thought it would have. The Fatties logo is my, probably my best creation. And that took me like five hours on a Saturday. And I started it not realizing that it was going to take that long. Um, again, going back to week one, I probably should have... I honestly probably didn't even have to have a week to do tracing. Because the first day I already figured it out. So I didn't need more time. And then my most successful moment was the Fatty's logo. Um, that's basically my project.